So to just pick up a Galaxy S10e and you're wondering, how do I make it a little bit faster? Let me get some tips on this phone. Well, let's activate beast mode here in this video. Coming up, let's go. <laughs> So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Now let me clarify one thing. When I say activate beast mode, I don't mean your S10e is just gonna poof. It's gonna turn into some mythological beast here, beauty and the beast status in this video. We're talking about improving the performance or keeping your Samsung running snappy for the duration of your ownership. So let's begin with the first one. All new here in the One UI, you have the ability to now reduce animations. We're gonna go to settings for this one. We're gonna scroll down to advanced features. Once in advanced features, you wanna to go to this little section that says reduce your animations. Click this on and you're gonna notice right from the bat that your phone just feels snappier. Now, if you do like the look of an animation, you'll wanna leave that on. But overall, I think it does a good job of making this look snappier than ever before. So that's the first thing I wanna talk about with the Galaxy S10e is to reduce your animations. Okay, so this next one plus the reduce animations from step one is going to turn this into just absolutely ridiculous mode here, beast mode for the S10e. Let's go to settings, scroll down so we can go to about phone. Hit software information, scroll down to build number, click this seven times until you see developer mode has been enabled. Once there, scroll back to developer options in your main settings page, scroll down till you find the animation scales. Here we have window transition and animator. Now a lot of Android purists already know to do this, but this combined with your reduced animations makes this phone absolutely lethal in performance. You'll see everything is just ridiculously fast. And I mean, way faster than what it looks like out of the box. So the S10e, and we're not even done yet. We got more coming, so stay tuned. But this and the other one, absolutely boss performance here. Make sure you do these two if you want ridiculously fast S10e. Next up, unless of course you use it a lot, disable this Bixby from your home screen. You'll be swiping and it just doesn't look quite as smooth as the rest of the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and pinch in like so one more time, scroll over and turn that off. Goodbye, now you don't have that problem there. So that's the next thing to do to activate beast mode for the S10e. Okay guys, so in this next step, we're gonna disable the Bixby key from activating on a single press because this gets in the way of your performance sometimes. So let's just click this one time to go into Bixby, hit this three dot menu, hit settings, and we're gonna scroll down here till you see Bixby key, press once to open. No, I don't want to press this one because then I'm accidentally gonna be enabling this. So let's go ahead and put it on press twice to open Bixby. Now, if you accidentally tap that, nothing's gonna happen. You actually have to consciously tap that two times now, one, two, for it to open, which will help you not accidentally trigger that, slowing down your performance. If you're doing something fast, you're not paying attention and you accidentally enable that, it's gonna get frustrating. So go ahead and do that here for step number four. So the next one is definitely beneficial to you if you want to get to your notifications quickly from the home screen. Now out of the box, this phone just goes into the applications whether you swipe down or up. But if we go like this, we go to home screen settings, scroll down, there's gonna be a setting that says quick notification panel. Now what this allows you to do is bring that notification down without reaching to the top. Now not everybody has as large a hands as I do and this still might be a reach even though this is a more compact phone, 5.8 inches is still a reach for people with smaller hands. So being able to pull this down one hand will save you time from having to do this with your hands, then go over here like so. So go ahead and enable that. So for this next one on activating beast mode, it's related to the last one, how we pulled down the quick notification panel. This time we're gonna do it with the fingerprint sensor. Now out of the box, this is not enabled. So let's go into settings here. I turned the flashlight on, let me turn that off. Let's go into settings here and you see this is going so fast, I gotta keep up with the phone after we enabled some of those things earlier. So let's go to motions and gestures here, advanced features. And you're gonna see right here, fingerprint sensor gestures. These are the ones you wanna turn on so you can go ahead and enable this really quickly. Now this is just another way to make your phone a little snappier when it comes to pulling down notifications. It gives you options. So this is great here as well. Next up is to go ahead and auto restart once a week to go ahead and clear out bad apps to prevent app crashing, stuff like that to keep this thing running like a beast. So let's go into device care here under settings. So let me scroll down, device care. So let's go here to this three dot menu in device care and let's go ahead and put auto restart. Then we're gonna turn this on 
and you're gonna go ahead and pick a day. Do this once per week, and I guarantee you that your phone will not crash as often. So go ahead and do this if you do want to have a restart. Now I'm gonna turn it off just so we don't have any accidental restarts even though it's not on the right time. I just wanna make sure. So we're gonna turn that off for now, but make sure you have it turned on if you want to prevent crashing on your phone in the future. So the next one is to go ahead and clear the cache in some individual apps that you're finding yourself using that much. So if you're on Instagram heavy all day or you're on Twitter heavy all day, then go ahead and go into settings here, go into apps and you know the apps you use the most, that's personal. We're not gonna get into that. You know, you know yourself, whatever you're using the most, go into those applications. For example, I use Chrome quite a bit. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to storage and I'm gonna hit clear cache right here. Now you don't have to do this with every app. You'll be there for the rest of your life disabling cache on or clearing cache on 25,000 apps. But just go to like the five or six, the ones that matter the most, because that will help out your performance just a little bit. So go ahead and do that. And then one thing I do mostly on all my Android phones is I disable the auto sync. So this is right up here in your notifications tray on the second page. So second page sync right here. Now what this does is it uses up more battery and it actually, I think bogs systems down on Android phones. Now some will argue this doesn't do this and a lot of people aren't gonna wanna go ahead and disable this feature. Now this is an optional one, but I do think that having this off is beneficial to the overall system because you don't have it doing anything in the background and uh, it's not hard to go and open your Gmail and just swipe down it's not that hard so I hit OK and I turn off auto sync because I don't like it killing my battery life okay guys so the next one is to go ahead and put on Nova launcher or a third-party launcher now the reason I say this is not because Samsung launcher isn't nice it is pretty nice you can make it just a home screen if you would like you don't even have to have uh, app drawer anymore, but I do think the ability to tweak your own animations to your own speed specifically in Nova Launcher makes this a little snappier than Samsung's launcher. So let's go to settings here and you can see look and feel, I can change my scroll speed to faster than light, my animation speed to faster than light. And when I want just absolute blazing OnePlus style performance on any Samsung, I just throw on Nova Launcher, I change the animation speeds and I call it a day because that really does boost it up a little bit. So that's an option, you don't have to do this, but if you want it to run like an absolute beast to the top level, I think this is a recommendation right here. I'm sure you noticed I got an update during this video and I wanted to leave it there and not update it during this video because I wanted to talk about this as my last way to make sure you keep this phone running like a beast. Make sure your software is updated consistently and always. So to go ahead and find software updates, you're just gonna go to settings, scroll down to you see software update and check this frequently samsung doesn't push them out every week so you probably don't have to check it every single week you can leave it on auto download but sometimes that'll get in the way but just make sure that your software is updated it's crucial to keeping your phone secure and running like a beast so that's it that's how to activate beast mode on the galaxy s10e i hope this helped you out to make your phone run like a champ run like a beast and if you found this video helpful entertaining informing click that like button for me if you're new here consider subscribing for more nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well and peace